Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick video on 2e, 2e, or two swaps, whatever people like to call them these days. But basically, um, what they are is where you swap one pair of edges and another pair of edges. So, like a z perm or an h perm, or you know, any two edges and any other two edges. And I'm going to show you how they work in 3Blind, and then I'm going to show you some very common ones that are decent to know, but I just want to make sure everyone knows at the start of this video that these are not like the things that will make you fast. These are the things that if you are already super fast, will help you get a couple even faster times. But overall, you know what, focus on commutation of the things if you want to be just in general super fast. Anyways, um, and the reason I say that is also because a lot of these algorithms, not the ones I'm showing you per se, but a lot of these ones that uh, you hear, hear people talk about are often just two commutators. So with, like with a cycle break or, you know, maybe slightly canceled, but for the most part, they're, they're pretty simple. But anyways, let's get into a quick situation where you'd use these. So first, first of all, like, the, the, the uh, first situation you should use two swaps is when it's just already set up for you. Or, you know, uh, sorry, I haven't done that one in a while. But, um, like, if you have something like this, you have an H perm right here. I mean, just do it. Or if you have, you know, an H perm. On the bottom and then you know you have one com to set up to the h perm so instead of going here 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 and here and then either doing 2e 2e or more cycle breaks you could just do one com to set up to the h perm so those are the kind of situations where you really want to look out for those is because Obviously, it's going to save you a lot of time, but also they don't happen a lot, and it's hard to notice them. And so, like, like it, it's rare. But the other situation, which is probably a bit more common, but also a bit more difficult to do, is where you're doing some floating, and then so you're using two different edge buffers, and then you end up with one edge target on each, and then you do a two e two. So I'll show you. This is kind of an example. Is so you have uf buffer to ur to RF, and then the next target would be UB, but that's also the UF sticker, so these two are swapped, right? So normally you would just cycle break, which, or to wherever, which isn't a terrible option, to be honest, but if you want to do it the perfectly optimal or, you know, a faster way, admittedly, then you could go, let's say, float to DF, and so you have DF to RF to RB, and then the next target is going to be here. So then we have these two swapped and these two swapped. So we'll do those two comms. And then we just have M2, U2, M2, U2, which if you used RU, i.e. the best method for sided two-handed, one-handed, then you would know that. Or if you just kind of know basic intuitive stuff about the cube. But anyways, yeah, that's kind of the situations where these things are useful. And I mean, it's tough to notice, especially that second scenario where you're doing floating and then 2e2, but it, it definitely would help. I mean, I hope that was obvious that it would help with making a faster solve. But again, it's, it's all about noticing it and making sure that you can recognize it quickly. So anyways, now I'm just going to go through about eight uh, different Algs that I have for you that are kind of um, ones that aren't really based on comms, as far as I can tell, um, but are also kind of useful if you ever come to this scenario. Like, we're already talking about a very rare set of cases, but you know, they're decent and they're easy to set up to. So, yeah. Anyways, first one is going to be, and I'll have all these in the description. Um, yeah, I'll do it one more time. But anyways, it swaps these two two adjacent edges on top, 
and then it swaps to um, the front and back bottom edges and then flips them. And so remember that you could set up to that and um, you could set up to this. It's even nicer when it's like this. Because you can cancel. But the great thing about this one is that it's super easy to cancel. You can mirror it just by changing the direction of the U moves. And change the direction of the M moves. And you can do it to the back. So yeah, I quite like it. It's um, definitely one that comes up decent. It comes up sometimes, but uh, just because you can set up to it in so many different ways. But you know, if, if these two are swapped, these two edges are swapped or these two edges are swapped, it's, it's pretty nice just to kind of figure out a way to swap these two or maybe they're swapped on their own and then you can do that. Anyways, the next one is going to kind of be like the opposite of that one. Like if we flip that one, so it's going to be, and um, so basically it's like two adjacent edges on top and now they're flipped as well and then the two opposite edges on the bottom but they're not flipped and of course you could mirror it you could also mirror them like top bottom like like the previous one you know you can do all sorts of this stuff so that's why that's why these ones are kind of useful um, and be mindful of the AUF, especially on that last one I just showed you, because uh, it ends with a U2. So sometimes if you set up to a U before that, then you know you got to figure out how to, to uh, deal with that. Next one is one that is pretty common for solving cross mix-ups in like CFOP. S swaps to uh, adjacent edges on the bottom, S. So it swaps. Two adjacent and two adjacent. Again, th with this one, you got to worry about making sure the AU, you know, the AUF, because you know it's not like when you're doing CFOP and it doesn't matter about the AUF because you're going to less layer. You got to know this because you're not going to be able to look at it. But yeah, and again, you can mirror it, all sorts. Next one we already talked about. It's going to be M2 U2 M2 U2. Pretty simple. Um, mirror it. It's kind of difficult, but you know, you got the idea. That one's pretty simple. Um, fifth one is going to be an H perm. And again, you know, if you have it on the R or L face or the bottom, or if you even if the front face or the back face, um, that one's a good one to do. Definitely rotate for that. By the way, like if it's front or back, just just rotate. Um, yeah, that, that, one, that one's another one that's super simple and everyone kind of knows that one. Um, this one, this one seems to be, I bet you most people know it, but just in case I go over it. So it's RQ to RQ2 and RQ2, and then it swaps these two and these two. And yeah, those are, um, those are super, super, that one's super simple. Um, you can do like R2, F2, R2, F2, F2, F2. F2. You know, um, be creative with that one. F uh, next one is another Ru one. So it's like the dots M2 case. But a lot of people don't realize that you're swapping these two and these two edges. So that was a bit of a rarer one, but definitely go for it because it's quite fast. I mean, it's only four move, and uh, yeah, yeah. Um, and then the final one, the one I want to talk about a little bit more. I know this video is getting a bit long. Is um, so it's all about the insert. So if you have an edge, and it doesn't have to be one of the edges on, on these stickers. But uh, if you have an edge and then you have two adjacent and another on top, you can cancel two comms. So instead of doing here, here, to here, and then, you know, and then to here, to here, what we can do is we can do a comm from UF and then a comm from UB. 
So we're going to solve the UF one first. So we're going to take this out and put it back in. And then we just have another one. Yeah. And then, um, and you can do that with like something right here, uh, you know, just looking for those two swapped edges on top and then the other two things one you can easily insert and of course if you have it right here you know do a d move or something but i really like that one and i actually think that that one's a super good one to get to know because it's a good floating one and it can be turned into so many different things um you know with corners too Hold on. so like you know if you have these two but just understanding that principle of doing two different com two columns from two different buffers but it's kind of intuitive it's almost like i think kind of like the megaminx last layer or something like that or maybe maybe there's even a three by three last layer method where you know you just take out the corner and then you put it in where you want it to be or you take out the edge and you put it in where you want it to be and then you do one more column and you're done so yeah uh, i will put all these in the description i hope they were useful put some questions or something but i know that there's People have kind of been curious about the whole 2e, 2e thing, and um, I made a list of, of these ones a while ago and kind of forgot to share them until now. So, yeah, here it is. Hopefully it was useful, and uh, yeah, see you later.